Here's your daily update. Newsman Dennis Daly offers his take on the events of the day in another daily video blog. Hi, and thanks again, everybody, and thanks to uh, Richard Gonzalez for sitting in for me yesterday when I just could not talk. I've got most of my voice back now, so let's see if we can make it through this report. We are, of course, coming up on the end of the year. That's a no-brainer. And everybody seems to be talking about what did get done in 2010, what has to get done in 2011, and of course, along with that, that endless list of New Year's resolutions. So I'm sitting here wondering if I should make any New Year's resolutions at all. Now, some of them I did keep. The one I made about four years ago to lose weight. I lost 25 pounds. Then I lost another 20 and gained it back. But at least I'm 25 plus pounds down from what I was four and a half, five years ago. So I guess if I were to make a New Year's resolution, it would certainly be to get back on the bandwagon. Now you can tell when you gain weight largely in your face. I look at some of the news reports I did from Palm Springs four months ago and I go, hmm, you're looking like the Pillsbury Doughboy. But anyway, that's going to be one of them. The other one, of course, is to get a decent part-time job and see if this writing job that I did sign on for will develop into something decent. I hope that the weatherman will make a New Year's resolution, and that will be to bring springtime early to the southern part of Los Angeles. All the dampness here in Long Beach has been giving me fits. So wherever you are, I hope you think about making a New Year's resolution that you can keep. The reason I bring that up is that I recently read an article that said basically people make New Year's resolutions that are unreasonable. And they have a track record year after year after year of not keeping those resolutions. Maybe if you would cut down the severity of the resolution and maybe cut your goal in half, it might be a little bit more realistic. For some of us, though, the resolution is to simply make it through next year in one piece. I'm Dennis Daly with your daily news update.